I'm so excited by our next speaker. Um, as a fact, he is our first confirmed speaker. Will and I had the opportunity to collaborate, not just on the Welcome Conference, but on opening a theater up in Ridgefield, Connecticut called the Prospector Theater, which is a 501c3 nonprofit, first of its kind movie theater that has the mission to employ, train, and populate the community of working professionals with adults with disabilities, autism, Down syndrome, developmental delays. They have a first run movie theater, popcorn, soda, candy, confessions, cafe, and a restaurant. They have over 100 employees, which if you can do the math in your head on three theaters, it's just absolutely astronomical. And over 60 of them are adults with disabilities, and they go through an entire training program. And so through this, and the opportunity to, to learn what excitement about is to go to work, um, came a video from YouTube of this crazy guy who gets out of his car with his headphones on, owns a restaurant, and dances every single day from his car to the front door of the restaurant, and then maintains that all the way throughout the day. Dances from the car to the restaurant. And I thought about how many times in my life did I dance from my car or the subway or from anywhere to work, and how underwhelming and unfulfilled that must be for me to not live that and made it a quest to make sure that every day was like that. And so we're going to get to meet Tim Harris, who owns Tim's Place in Albuquerque, New Mexico. And he is a phenomenal ball of energy. Uh, we're going to start with a little video. And then Tim's going to come up and blow your minds, I promise you. So let's welcome Tim and the short video coming up. Thank you. To be right. Wow, that is a good question. Um, what does it mean to be right? Um, to be right? Um, uh, what does it mean to be right? Uh, I guess... I don't know, I don't know how to answer that. Um, it's different for each individual. It's right what's in the context. It's right for that individual at that time. Um, to be right, in my opinion, means to seek and know the truth. When you're like talking to somebody and you're trying to figure out something and like the other person's wrong and like you're right, I don't know. It's not important to be right. It's important to be um, true to the guest. I don't know, I guess it just means to know that Whatever you think is the correct answer to anything. I guess means that you aren't wrong. <laughs> and I guess it'd be hard to come up with one answer for what would be right all the time. Uh, it would just really depend a lot on context, I think. You know, like I said, being right of like in an argument and knowing the truth in that argument. And that's your definition of right, is knowing what the truth is. So it doesn't really matter about who's right. It's, it's about doing what is, uh, what is correct, what is, what is appropriate. We also um, are talking about whether or not someone is morally correct. So I don't know, that's what I would say it means to be right. I am so glad to be here. <laughs> Before I get into my speech, I do recognize someone very special. He's here, and this is his first time today to hear me speak. My buddy, Zach Perez. <laughs> Hello, everyone. My name, I'm happy to be here. My name is Tim Harris. I am 29 years old, and I am living the life of my dreams. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
So the theme of this event is being right. And my friend Sabrina asked me what I thought that meant. I told her, I told her then, and I will tell you now, I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> but I do know what it means to be awesome. <laughs> That's how I live. That's how I try to live my life. So that's what I'm going to talk about. Maybe being right and being awesome are more alike than different. So here are some things that are a part of an awesome life. Number one, love people. I really do love people. I am the owner of a restaurant in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Tim's place. And my place is known as the finest restaurant on the planet. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Because I make everyone that walks through the door of my restaurant to feel welcomed and loved. I decided that I wanted my restaurant to serve up great food, and of course, hugs. <laughs> the hugs are the best part. Oh yeah! <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute. I want you guys to help me out real quick. When I say, oh yeah, you say, oh yeah, with me. Let's try it. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Don't leave me hanging. <laughs> Especially you, Javier Trablanca. <laughs> <laughs> I have hugged over 70,000 people, and I plan on hugging many, many more. And the world needs more love, and I am doing my part. Are you doing yours? Oh, yeah. I want everyone to stand up and give the person sitting next to you a big hug. <laughs> how, how did that feel? Good. Did it make you feel happy? I'm glad that felt good. Now you guys can sit back down. <laughs> I think the world likes what I am doing. I have friends in 110 countries. And people from all across the, across the country come visit me at Tim's place. I guess you could say I've gone global. <laughs> so what was number one? Love. That's right. Number two, work hard. I have had some challenges in my life, but I never let those challenges hold me back. I tell people that nothing can stop me. <laughs> a few years ago, I was eating very, very unhealthy and spending too much time in front of the computer and TV. With the help of awesome friends like Zach, I started eating better and working out. I lost 70 pounds. <laughs> and I am in the absolute best shape of my life. Check out these guns or pythons. <laughs> oh yeah! Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, ha I have had lots of help from my family and friends. Over the years, I have worked hard. It was hard work that helped me become a successful Olympian and earn a letterman jacket. It was hard work that helped me earn my certificates from Eastern New Mexico University. Even though it was my 
first time away from my family. It was hard work that helped me start my own restaurant. Which brings me to my next tip. <laughs> Number three, believe in yourself. 15 years ago, 10th place was only a dream. And today, it is an official tourist destination. It would have been easy for me to give up on my dreams, but I did not. I believe that I could be a successful restaurant owner and guess what? I am. <laughs> oh, yeah! Oh, yeah! <laughs> I want to tell you that dreams always come, come true. Never stop believing that or believing, believing in, in yourself. Number four, believe in others. My story has become pretty popular, especially especially after hugging the, the President of the United States. <laughs> it was really awesome. It felt awesome. He, he, told me, he told me that he loved his hug. <laughs> it was totally amazing. But I think from that on, um, they mailed me a letter. They asked me, me to be the VIP honored guest at the World Special Olympics Games next month. Oh, yeah! yeah. <laughs> it went viral, and I wanted that to use that attention to help others who have, who have dreams. Tons of families and people with disabilities are asking my family and me for advice. So I did what any other awesome person would do. I started my own nonprofit. Tim Speak Heart Foundation helps people with disabilities start or grow their own small businesses. And I wanted to recognize Sabrina Torblanca. She's awesome. <laughs> and thank you, Javier Torblanca, for, for having your daughter working for me. <laughs> I love Sabrina. We help people like Matt. Cuddle, Matt owns the Staring King Bakery in Phoenix. We are helping him to grow his business. He is an awesome baker. He deserves the, the opportunity to succeed. I believe with the wide support, anyone can achieve their dreams. Matt is awesome. <laughs> and I believe in him, believe in others. Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Number five, be happy and show it. I love to dance. I love to sing songs. <laughs> I love living, and I try and show that in everything I do. Smile more. Can you smile? <laughs> Sing without being embarrassed. <laughs> Shake it at, at every opportunity. Everyone get up and do a little dance. Come on, take it with me. <laughs> Come on, everybody. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that is why I love kids so much, because they are not afraid to be happy. They don't take life too seriously. Sometimes we need to be serious. But sometimes we need, we need to cut loose. <laughs> be happy and make sure people know it because I am happy. I love my life. Number six, use your superpower. <laughs> <laughs> Did you, did you all know I am a superhero? I know because a kid at one of my speaking events asked me what it's like to be a superhero. My superpower is love. 
especially to, especially to other girls. <laughs> Everyone has different superpowers, but that is mine. Let me tell you about a time I used my superpower. I got, in, I got an email from a man. His wife was expecting a baby girl who had Down syndrome like me. He was worried, and I just wanted to know that everything was going to be OK. So I called him, and I told him, don't worry. Your daughter's going to be awesome. <laughs> That's right. It didn't take a, a lot of time, but it meant a ton to him. You have your superpower. For a reason, use it with great power becomes great responsibilities. Sorry, I just stole that from Spider-Man. <laughs> <laughs> and finally, number seven. Don't complain about darkness, be the light. When I was born, a lot of people found out I had Down syndrome. And they would tell my parents that they were very, very sorry. I guess they just didn't know how totally awesome I would turn out to be. <laughs> I am sure it was scary for them to find out I was born a little different. But they didn't let that get in the way of raising their son. They helped me be strong and hardworking. They always saw the light. The world can be a scary place, and some people just want to be scared. Not me. I want to make the world a better place. I want to make the world totally awesome. <laughs> That is the closest I can get to telling you how to be right. Nobody's perfect, and nobody's right all the time. But everyone can be awesome. Everyone can love other people. Everyone can work hard. Everyone can believe in themselves and believe in other people. Everyone can be happy and show it. Everyone can use their superpower and shine a light in their hearts. Again, everyone can be awesome. Well, I think, okay, so if we're talking about what, what does awesome mean, awesome is to inspire awe. To be awesome means like when you have the courage to do something that no one else really um, can do. I think, uh, I think being awesome is really, it comes down to a lot of the ways that Tim lives his life and a lot of the different things he does. It's inspiring to me as a, as a restaurant owner and somebody in guest service to be more like Tim. To have, live an adventurous life, to be friendly to people. The first key to being awesome is probably understanding yourself well. Really sitting down and thinking about what my superpower is. What Tim is talking about is he knows who he is, he knows his own identity. And based on that, um, he knows the ways in which he can inspire people and be an impressive person. I think that's the thing that sticks out to me the most of like, am I doing a good job of using my superpower of like teaching my passion? He is awesome. He gets his, his interaction with people transcends sort of uh, the everyday noise that we're all involved in. And he connects with people on a different level. And you can't be afraid to fail. You gotta try new things. And you gotta be willing to make mistakes. If you love people, you're mostly gonna be aimed in the right direction. You're gonna make the right decisions. You're gonna do things that are gonna be beneficial for society. And so again, I guess that's the closest thing you can do is, is just love people. That's it. Sweet. He's connected with me like that. And before I, before I, before I, in the closing, before I say in my closing, about two days ago, something magical happened in my life. My baby brother got married. 
So now I have a sister. I'm excited. Thank you for your time. Thank you.